Oh man, true shot barrage? Yeah, let's go. Mirai Great Mother harrowing. Getting three more Mirai Great Mothers and two River Shapers. <laughs> Opponent.exe has crashed and stopped functioning. <laughs> you look at this! That's so many spells that we have in our deck that are going to be awesome. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Great Mother Control deck. First of three ranked decks today. Let's head on back over to ranked and we're going to try out two new decks and one old classic deck. So first up, we're going to have Great Mother Control where this is a deck completely built around Mirai Great Mother. So it's four mana, three, three. When I'm summoned, create five random six plus cost spells in your deck and lower their cost to three. So our goal is to not only play the Great Mother, get the spells in the deck, but then also find a way to draw those spells. And there's a lot of different ways in Bilgewater and Ionia to draw those spells. So first of all, of course, Zap Sprayfin. That's probably the, the easiest and you know the one that's most uh, paired with the Great Mother to draw those spells. But then we're also going to have Deep Meditation. They can draw two, just two random spells from your deck, hopefully those ones, and also River Shaper that every time it strikes we're drawing a spell. So those are going to be our, our main ways to go search for them. But you know, if we just play a Great Mother, we get five random six plus cost spells. Cool. But what if we want more than that? You know, Maybe we can replay the Great Mother over and over. And so that's what we're going to try to do with Monastery of Hirana. Round start, create the Sanctuary in hand, pick the Great Mother back up, be able to replay the Great Mother um, for another four mana, and then create five more spells in our deck. <laughs> so that's, that's what we're going to try to do there. Since we're playing Monastery of Hirana, we're going to want other cards that are good to pick up, to, you know, put back in our hand and, and play again. You know, uh, so, you know, like we'll have like Shadow Assassin to draw cards, Dancing Droplet to draw cards, Mirai Warden, you, we can pick this up and then get another random one cost follower, right? If we just want some more blockers, we can continually get one cost followers for blockers with Mirai Warden. Um, and then finally our champion, Twisted Fate. So Twisted Fate's going to be another card that's going to be awesome to pick up. It won't help you level up Twisted Fate if you keep picking it up, but you can keep on like red carding or gold carding your opponent if you keep putting the Twisted Fates back in your hand. Finally, last thing in our deck to also kind of pair with this Monastery is going to be one copy of Tail Cloak Matriarch at the top end. Um, you know, we have all these four cost units, that's kind of our top end also, but the Tail Cloak Matriarch you know, whenever you recall a follower, you summon an exact ephemeral copy of it. So that could be awesome with Sprayfin, Shadow Assassin. Whenever we recall, you just summon another one, so you draw. But then, of course, Great Mother, right? So we recall the Great Mother, we summon an exact ephemeral copy thanks to the Matriarch, and then we can recast the Great Mother from our hand also. So if we have, um, if we have the Matriarch in play and we recall and then replay Great Mother, that's another 10 random six plus cost spells in our deck that cost three mana so that could be you know a ton of cool spells so that's what our deck's about that's what we're going to be trying to do we got great mother control let's head on over to ranked we're going to go play our five games over there all right so we got sedgewani gangplank for our first matchup this is going to be kind of tough because they will be very aggressive um, I actually kind of like this hand, actually, now that I kind of look at it. So we don't do anything the first couple of rounds, but we save, save Twin Discipline Mana, then play River Shaper, then Great Mother, then Sprayfin. That's not that bad. We just hope that they're not too aggressive. They're only going to have one attack pass. Awesome. Good. They only have this attack round before we start playing stuff. Oh, and now we can play Warden. And we probably should. Why no karma? It's a one more win con. Right. But it doesn't... It is... Karma is would be another win condition. But I'm not really worried... Like, karma wins in the really late game once you have 10 mana. And I'm not really worried about winning whenever we have 10 mana and stuff. And I, I don't want to have just... We just don't have room for more expensive cards, basically. Um, yeah, just don't, don't have room for so many expensive cards. So if I play River Shaper, River Shaper is vulnerable to 
make it rain. Because then the River Shaper would have one health. Alright, so now... We swim within the flows of magic. You're in over your head. I expect the two ones to trade. Obviously, we're not going to be drawing... Wow, they're just setting up to make it rain. Obviously, we don't draw, like, the 6-plus cost spell right now, but... Um, we get a spell out of the deck, so... Other River Shaper and Spray Fin and stuff hits up more likely. Okay, so do I want to Twin Disciplines, the River Shaper... And then play new River Shaper. That sounds kind of good. I didn't have any chance to trade the Blood Letter before because they had they attacked with an elusive. Whenever they attacked, because uh, that, you know, that one drop had elusive for the round. But I guess I well okay I see what you're saying I could have traded the Blood Letter away instead of the other thing, with the two one yeah I guess that's. That is true. Water changes but never breaks. My selection speaks for itself. Why would you not attack with that powder monkey? I don't I don't know why not, but thank you. Oh, I want a red card. No. Experience grants wisdom and strength. Yes, they can. Yes, they can nab our great mother spells, and they would still cost three. Yeah, because they're they're in the deck, and they cost three. So, yeah, that's not uh, <laughs> not great against nab, but that's how it is. River Shaper kind of dies for nothing. can't be the thing to do. So they do play a Sed Sedjuani. I, I don't like our chances here. <laughs> yes, Dawn and Dusk! Yeah, we can Dawn and Dusk. The, I, I almost put Dawn and Dusk in this deck for like the last card instead of the Tail Cloak Matriarch. We can Dawn and Dusk the Great Mother and make 10 more spells. Or I red card and get rid of this powder monkey and the powder keg. Gold card's done. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, Nab does steal the card from the bottom of the deck, right? But they're put in randomly in the deck, so they could be put into the bottom of the deck. Wow. Why did they do that right now? I don't know. I guess they were both three ones anyway. But, alright. Yeah, now you want to attack with your Gangplank? Or what? So we can block with an Ephemeral and kill it? Alright, so we have 14 random spells in our deck. <laughs> we had 15, but we drew one, of course, with the Dawn and Dusk. No. Everyone pays. Parley. Keep up, keep up. Harrowing? Oh, so these harrowings are going to put in like three great mothers and we get 15 more cards? I'll show them pay. So what, three, three great mothers and two river shapers? So we put 15 more... Three cost spell or fifteen more of these spells in our deck, plus we draw two from the River Shapers. Hopefully they don't have Sedwani. Oh man, true shot barrage. Yeah, let's go. Mariah Great Mother Harrowing. Getting three more Mariah Great Mothers. And two River Shapers. <laughs> Opponent.exe has crashed and stopped functioning. 
Hey, look at this! That's so many spells that we have in our deck that are gonna be awesome. We're gonna draw two of them with the River Shapers. Wow. Opponent can't handle the value. Can't handle it. So this will put him down to one. Which is good, because I want to see what the spells are. I don't want them just to die. Of course, with all the True Shot Barrage to finish him off. No! We don't get to see the spells! Oh, come on. All right, we got a slower deck here with Zillion Zera. Ooh, all right, we got Great Mother again. We got Monastery to be able to pick Great Mother back up and replay it. Um, what am I leading with? Am I leading with River Shaper? River Shaper into Great Mother, or I guess... Yeah, that's obviously really slow to play Monastery on three, then Mother on four. If we do that... Basically, I'm thinking, do we send both of these back? Maybe I have to send both of them back. If that's our plan. I like Retreat Return, because that can protect Great Mother and also... Ooh, okay. I was going to say that can also protect Great Mother, but then also put in the 3-3. I don't need the second Monastery. We don't need two. We don't play any removal, so I don't want to see Xerath on their side, because we don't play removal, so Xerath will just mow down all of my stuff over and over. So like we are terrible against Xerath, so please do not play Xerath. I would appreciate that. Alright, good. So at least that's not Xerath right now. So that's good. Well, your idea is probably not any good. Alright, I'm just gonna let this happen. So I haven't played any spells. If I played the Sanctuary, it would only just be the first spell. Respect the ocean and all its okay, so we got 10 cards in our deck now. I guess I should have Retreat Returned instead of using the Sanctuary, shouldn't I? I don't know. It's the exact same. No, it's not the same thing. Then I could have Returned. Yeah, I guess I'm just not playing two spells again. Sorry, Draglings. difficult deck to play. They're difficult. Yeah, this is just a difficult deck to play. Difficult decisions. This gives them the landmark to go get the 5-3. Saves the most life. You know, like if I red card. I don't have to red card right now. Let's go spray fin. <laughs> Twin Disciplines, no! So we have ten, right now we have ten of those spells. Their board's full, so like, red card just like, gives them space to play other stuff that they want to play. Like landmarks and all that kind of stuff, they can't... right now. No, 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 no. That's the card I can't beat. No, I can't beat that card. These will both deal one, deal one, then deal three. Come on. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. 
Something for all. And the only card in their deck that I'm like really, really scared of is Zareth. Zareth just dominates against us. Unfortunately. No, it's gonna kill the Shadow Assassin. It's not gonna kill the Dragling, because theirs is gonna happen first. They're the active player. Or so yeah, we don't we don't even make a draggling. Card's obviously also a problem, but it's not as bad as Zareth. Like this thing I can block and bounce. I can I can do stuff against that, but I can't do anything against Zareth. Alright, I think we're going to start with gold card. Holy partner. We need our spells, right? We got our 10 random 6 plus cost spells. We're going to need some good spells. Experience Let's make it 15. Wow, not even blocking River Shaper. Oh, come on. I have 15 created spells. Why can't we draw those? 15, I'm telling you. Now, then, or soon. I've only played one spell this round. Like, I, I want to pass. I don't want to play 5 mana Deep Meditation, but we've only played one spell. Progress day. That's our first one. Ooh, feel the rush. I only have Twisted Fate. <laughs> I only have one champion. Alright, love the retreat return, though. Never lost a fair game. That retreat turns necessary to block this one. So we stop the one with Scout. Okay, let's see. So we're going to um, block retreat return. Oh, that thing's fearsome too. All right, so we'll retreat return you. You can just block over there. You can block over here. Uh, that thing's for some two. I probably can't go to three. Gotta trust your instincts. I'll probably have to do this. Well, maybe we just go to three. Yeah, I got ritual renewal. All right, we're going to three. What form will the waters take? Gift from the river folk. Remembrance. Still. 
Oh, that thing's elusive? Gross. Why is everything elusive? This just isn't necessary. I just don't need to be playing this card. Oh, no, no, because now this is going to be pick a card, not... Oh, that's not going to be the stun card anymore. Oh, I messed up again. Man, this is difficult to play. Man, my plan here was to, to pick up the, the, the Twisted Fate, stun the Arsenal, and go triple plus three plus zeros on this Spray Fin to do 11 damage to them. So now I'm a mana short from doing that. So another Roar Porealis down there. All or nothing. So I just want to get the card out of my hand. As far as the Twin Disciplines goes, but no, I can't. Man, I messed this game up. Okay, so they would have mini-morphed anyway. So they would have simply mini morphed. If I would have done that line of make spray fan 11 power. They had the answer. The sanctuary has been pretty awkward. I think this monastery making all these sanctuaries and everything has been pretty awkward. GG, Zareth. As you can see, like, we could slow down the arsenals, and they weren't that scary. It's just, it's the Zareth. The Zareth has, you know, it just killed everything. That Zareth was the card from their deck that I couldn't beat. So yeah, we could, we could definitely have Monster Harpoon for some removal. This is a good hand. Just keep all this. It's not a it's not a great mother hand, but it's good at stopping a Teemo Poppy deck. By stopping I mean slowing down. Hello, best friend. Wow. Best mama is the beast mama. Alright, we had our luck the first game. <laughs> we, that's that's where we had our luck was the first game. Not so much since then. Not so much. The spirit gives to those who listen. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. All right, doing this, then I can red card next round and kill both of those with a red card. Because if I, you know, if I wait, they owl cat, and then maybe owl cat doesn't hit, you know, maybe doesn't hit one of these. Deal me in. Something for all. Again, right, mayor out of here is important. They missed allegiance. So they have some kind of bilge water card on top. What kind of Bilge Water card are they playing anyway? Oh, it's not burst speed. We can't really do that. Not today. Currents keep me.
Great Mother! If only these still had a tune. If only. Respect the ocean and all its boons. Yes, um, what's the plan, old fiend? Sir, my plan is to kill them. Okay, don't like our chances. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, Jack. Jack says, why do those things have spell shield? And I, I don't know. It does not seem like those need to have spell shield. It's good to be the king. Sorry, Great Mother. But why? Be safe. That does not seem like a very good play. We each hold the world within. Why didn't they just kill Twisted Fate? Okay, so that levels up Twisted Fate. It's something we definitely need. Looks like I'm on a hot street. The waters nurture the Marai. We got ten cool spells in the deck. Eyes open. We, of course, need to heal our Nexus. It's majestic, like my mustache with bark. Gotta trust your instincts. I'm a people person. Five out of ten. All that glitters. Definitely want to keep some burst spells on hand for open attack. Well, that's nice. That is a burst spell, too. Shift here. You are unwelcome. Pick a card, a tail cloak matriarch. Let him think it's luck. And retreat this thing. Voice of the old ones. That's not gonna help. <laughs> sometimes Great Mother makes some great cards, sometimes not so much. Good 
Because this is, you know, draw each card that costs A+. plus. We don't even have those. The two empty... You know, we don't even have any of those. Two empty mana gems. Isn't doing anything. Judgment. See, now we're talking. Now we talking. Breathe in, breathe out. The thing is, is this this is a burst spell, a three mana burst spell for open attack, twisted fate, destiny cards. That's the best thing about it. Yeah, Poppy's leveled up. So attack, it gets plus two, plus two, and then grants everything else impact. Like that's not cool. Well, that's probably not good. We can control their board basically forever with leveled up Twisted Fate. Like, I'm not worried about dying whatsoever with leveled up Twisted Fate to damage. But, you know, the Bandle Tree. I guess we can't really do anything about the Bandle Tree. Unless... Unless we get fairly lucky. Yeah, maybe we can get a sunk cost. Oh, I have room to don't have room to draw cards. So I was thinking like Great Mother, create another five, and then spray fin. That does mean we're only looking at drawing one card. I could go spray fin, then spray fin instead, and we draw two, but we may not actually have. Like, we're probably not going to draw the 5 plus cost spells if we do that. So. Droplet pickup. Respect the ocean and all its boons. Who says I don't share? 11? That's not good. Whirling. Nothing like the great outdoors. Panel tree kills us round start. Huh. Didn't see that coming. So unfortunately, even though I don't think we would have ever died to attackers, we don't have any landmark destruction, so. We lose. Just done. Don't need these things. Alright. So now we're playing against Thralls. Again, no landmark destruction. I'm mulligan the two drop because they usually just play, you know, like avalanches, ice shards, that kind of stuff, and just we're not really an aggressive deck. I didn't really think that we needed the two small attackers, because I don't think that we're going to get them down to 20 in time. I will bury the world in ice. We shall see. I am inevitable. Good job, Delphinus. Got to Platinum with Nami Soraka. Way to go. Good job. All right, first great mother. Getting in there. That's very bad. Cuz I can't do anything about that unless great mother gives us something good. Revitalizing roar. That's not going to help. Respect the ocean Try again. And all its boons. So we had 9 other cards, so 9 out of our 40. Are those created spells? Frost gathers. So basically, twenty five percent. Mm. 
Mini morph. Mini morph's cool. Right now we can have Twisted Fake Gold Card and Mini Morph available. Man, that is rude. Alright, if they if they have that, they have it. And throw. Let's talk about your death. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. Hmm. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. We have a lot of spells in here. Ricochet. That's not good against Lissandra. Man, am I gonna have to mini morph this? Lis Wait, do I have to mini morph Lissandra? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to mini morph the thralls. I just can't kill Lissandra unless I. The gold card right now? That doesn't work, does it? No, because then these happen left to right, so this one happens first, puts two thralls into play, Lissandra levels up. I guess I should have brought my landmark destruction. How do I ever, ever, ever beat leveled up Lissandra? Like, do I have do I have to mini morph that? But they're gonna have three eight eight overwhelms. How do I beat those things? I have no idea. If only this wasn't one damage five times, right? Like, if only, like, this could help kill Lissandra. At least they only got two. So they only got two instead of three? Because then that, that happened, so one of them got obliterated. And then this happened, so at least that's a thing. And now my draggling comes out. Yeah, I think we, we probably really need Harpoon in here, don't we? I'm hoping a lot of damage to the Thrall. Two damage to it. <laughs> Come on! Help me out a little bit. Where can we fit Harpoon in? We if we play Harpoon in this deck. Yeah, maybe less Monastery. Maybe we don't need all three of those. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. All that glitters. Stop. 
Stop. Shadow Assassin doesn't do anything because of Ice Shard. I'm always up for a round or two. Part so at least get rid of what? Wait, what? Oh, because it's because this thing's stunned, so the gold card doesn't do the two damage to that again because it f focuses on what's not stunned. So we see that we can't beat landmarks. I like our chances against just regular units trying to attack us. Like, we can play really good defense. And we have great card advantage. We've just lost... Yeah, sunk cost just making fun of me. We've just lost... Uh, three game... You know, all three games have been to la landmarks. Like, why are landmarks so good right now? Best I can do is take... 17 damage. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Okay, for our last game, we're going to try putting in some harpoons. We're going to take out that Tailcloak Matriarch, and then trim one Monastery, one Dancing Droplet, as our other things to trim to, to get these harpoons in here. Because we saw, like, we can't kill Xerath, we can't kill Lissandra, uh, you know, like those kind of things. Okay, we got Lulu Poppy. So I like our chances of playing defense if they don't have the Bandle Tree. This isn't the best of hands, though. We don't really need Droplet unless... Yeah, I guess this way. We don't need Droplet unless we have the Monastery. <laughs> and there's the Monastery. I like that, make it rain. If you want some, that helps out, twist it fate. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. I was definitely worried about like Flea Feather Tracker, Yordle Smith kind of stuff. Could put two draglings in play for next round for blocking. I'll get the monastery started, but if I want, you know, we could retreat, return one eye of the dragon, play the other eye of the dragon. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. But there'd just be like some little blockers for well, Yordle Smith to be taking them out. Okay, still got our second monastery that we don't need. Hold it, partner. Where are we going? Trick is to swing harder. do that next round they can play more things but do you think if they had more things to play they do that because i want to do that next round to make it more likely that we play two spells okay there we go there's first one spell that is Who 
I guess we have to kill that. I was definitely planning on putting the Twisted Fate back in my hand and going red card. Now we have to do that. Now, I could put Twisted Fate back in my hand right now. But I could also not really show them that that's my plan. So that if they play something else, then I Sanctuary. But then again, I guess they can open attack and challenge. But I got Retreat Return. Alright, cool. Always up for a round or two. Well, who says I don't share? Well, so they give everything quick attack. Spells I play. I can't I can't see this number yet. Two out of two. It's probably not worth risking a sharp sight killing an eye of the dragon whenever I kind of need these draglings pretty bad. Hesitation to tell. Please pass. Please don't also have a rally with all the other stuff you've had. Cool. You two get on in there. So I'm thinking about gold cart, I think, because gold cart should take down Lulu, right? Not this thing. Oh, that thing has four CMC? Never mind, it'll take down Bass of Burden. That's not as good. Maybe I just do this first. See what's up. A great Mother. Would be nice to have one more mana and be able to Sanctuary back like a Shadow Assassin or something, because if I do play Twist of Fate or Great Mother, then we're only getting one Draggling instead of getting the two Draglings. So maybe I just pass here and... Yeah, maybe we'll just pass here. Want the two draglings for blockers. You're covered. I'd like to play the Great Mother first before deep meditation. What am I doing? I guess I am. All right, so Great Mother over Eye of the Dragon. Do that or over the sink, the monastery. Maybe I'm done with the monastery. The waters nurture the Marai. Okay. The dragon binds us. You are unwelcome. <laughs> You cannot escape. And four. It's too late for you. I really want to play a spell, but I also don't want to play a spell. One of those times. Play a spell for more draglings. But if I do, like, Sanctuary... I guess I get Sanctuary Eye of the Dragon. Man, I sure hope they just don't have a rally. I sure hope they don't have a rally. I can't really play around rally, can I? My play around rally would be... Just playing the warden. I think I just lose to rally. And that's just how it is. 
Come on. They could have played the rally the previous round as well and would have been completely devastating. But yep, now they did that. That's game over. Yep. Because of the impact from the the base of burden, there's no blocks that can make that keep me alive. If I didn't recall the Great Mother, we could have, but then of course I would have only had one spell, so I just just lost a rally. That's how it was. GG's. Man, they really had a great hand. That Ranger's Resolve was so clutch. They had Lulu and you know, like they had the the mayor and the Lulu and the Poppy and the Rangers Resolve, and then finally the Rally. Also, they just had it all. All right, so that was our Great Mother Control deck. We had the first game. <laughs> first game, we got to do all the cool Great Mother stuff and made so many uh, random six plus cost spells. But it's it's tough. It's tough out there. Uh, if you can't get rid of the landmarks, it looks like. So we really struggled against the landmarks, and then we just had a we just had one game against Lulu Poppy, where our opponent had an incredible hand, and that's going to happen sometimes as well. All right, but uh, that's going to be it here, though, for the Great Mother Control. And, of course, besides all those other cards they had that I named, they also had that, that Quick Attack card, which was key. They really needed that Quick Attack card, because without the Quick Attack card, our Draglings would have been healing our Nexus that whole time and dealing damage to their stuff, and we would have been perfectly fine. So they just don't have, like, one of those things. Would have made our life a lot, lot better. All right, but anyway, that's going to be the, the Great Mother control deck. So those of you all watch, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the Great Mother deck. If you got any other ideas to improve it, pop, you're coming up here, or anything, feel free to, to let us know. Let me know what you think of having the uh, monster harpoons in there like we added in. Come here. Um, you know, anything like that. I know some people would say, like, what about Karma? But if you, you saw, like, all those games that we lost, Karma wasn't going to help any of those games that we lost. That's the thing. Karma feels like with this kind of deck, it, like, rewards you for playing a game that you're already going to win kind of thing. Um, and so it just doesn't, it doesn't help you get from getting run over from Lulu Poppy. It doesn't help you with Landmark. You, you know, it just doesn't, doesn't help you with any of the kind of games that you would normally lose. So that's why I don't like, you know, just don't really have the Karmas in here because... We don't need it. We already have all the card advantage we need. All right, but that's going to be it for Great Mother Control. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.